folks, hope you're well. In this one, we're going to be looking at our first dive song. This is uh, Bent Roy's song, which was requested over at Patreon by Jared. Thank you very much indeed for your support, Jared. And if you don't know what Patreon is, go check it out in the link below. Help support the channel and you get to choose some cool things. So this is a little bit off the beaten path for us, I would say. In terms of tone, you don't need a great deal. You should use a whammy for this because there's a little bit of a sort of solo part that comes up that you need that for. Other thing you'll need is a load of reverb. I'm using the soft focus from Catlin Bread which is just brilliant for this sort of stuff. So my clean tone. Then with a the soft focus. goes on forever but then I'm also using some light overdrive and that's coming from the Greer Amps Royal Velvet which is based on an AC30 but I think it's great for this one especially in neck position you get just the right amount of breakup so so hear that kind of oh, nice sort of wooliness but then with the reverb Lovely. Let's crack on with the first riff. And just repeats around, okay? So that is a hammer on, ninth fret to the 11th on the G. And then you're going to play the open B. Then you do. might be a half step bend but it's quite a quick you know little little flick of the wrist there um so it may be between a quarter and a half step bend uh, that you bend and release and then you do another open b string okay so the first bar okay second bar just goes so not terribly difficult and to speed and then you know the bass lines and stuff underneath move so you're just repeating that whole thing around eight times okay i'll give you a quick alternative to that intro part um, if you want to make it a bit more complicated and you know fill it out a bit more you can um, and basically you could do that like this <laughs> that in it basically that's the same note right that is a B on the ninth fret on the D string exactly the same as the open B there right so you're basically playing so on the three and and the one and you would add that right so you've got simplified version that we did but with the reverb then for the next riff add a bit of overdrive and then you're going to play this turn those off so you can hear it clean again fairly straightforward it's not too quick um, but you know what's your fingering basically so start with your second finger sliding from the ninth to the 11th on the G and you're gonna go to like a D minor shape right so third finger here first finger here okay then third finger on the 12th fret slide up to the 14th fret and then that's my second finger coming over the top there so we've got so 
So you're only ever using your second finger on that, uh, that G string, okay? So, one more time. And again, you play that round eight times as well. Then we have this part. So I'm gonna do this sort of solo-y bit in two sections because there's, there's some part with the trem, which goes on about eight times. But there's this first um, sort of phrase that leads into it, right? Which you play four times round. So we've got this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> isn't it so and I'm using the same overdriven tone there for this part so let me clean it up and we'll go through that so the first two bars are just a repeating pattern okay pretty straightforward I'm not going to call out all the notes because it's pretty self-explanatory with the tab slide your first finger down one fret Pretty straightforward, right? I'm using my first uh, three fingers there. Then you go round again. Slight variation the second time. So you're going to go six, seven. With your third finger, slide up to the tenth fret. And then your second finger hits the ninth fret there. And you go around that again, okay? Then, we've got to use some whammy action, right? And we've got this really cool part which goes... So, you play three normal, and the fourth one is, and another bend, and another dip. So the first two bars. Okay, then you go. But then again, you're starting it now on the seventh fret. Really lovely stuff. And then you go into this ag again. some you know whammy to, to end um, that part actually goes over the top I think of the um, you know the the sort of solo-y part there and that is it you're done hope you enjoyed that one Jared good suggestion cheers all